it's the 10th of February 2022. Um, is it on a research expedition today due to the Fukushima radioactive fallout? And we're doing species counts, looking for birds in particular, but if we find anything, it's great news, obviously. And so, uh, all the footage you shot today, I edited it tonight, and then I posted it tonight on the same day, February 10th. Uh, let's get after it. It's uh, 6.30 a.m. Uh, Thursday to 10th or the 9th, I can't remember. Got the trailer loaded up. We're gonna head off. I had to rewire the lights. It took me an hour to rewire the friggin' lights. Let's go do it. Get everything loaded up. Load it up. Let's hit the road, Jack. So it's uh, 6.50. 7 a.m. Well, almost daylight. We just uh, fueled up. Filled that up, filled the bike up. It was 140, almost $140. Let's get her done. So we've only been on the road for 15 minutes or so. And I don't think we're going to go to the where I wanted to go. There's another spot that's about 60 kilometers or something from here. So I'm gonna run down there and see if there's any snow. And if it's safe enough to launch there, we'll launch down there. Because we had a late morning getting away, we had to rewire, well we being I, I had to rewire uh, the trailer lights 5 a.m. this morning pretty cold <laughs> but hey I got it and um, right now we're we're cutting across a place known as the Barnes I think it's like 25 kilometers or something and I haven't seen any birds uh, this morning in town or out here and I don't know if I can switch the camera around in this particular mode no so I'll switch it off, and then I'll change the view of the camera. Okay, so now the camera is looking forward, and I apologize, I haven't got the gimbal. The gimbal's in the back seat, I couldn't reach it. And, um... It's pretty crazy that there's, uh no birds at this hour in the morning, no animals. And we're almost across the burns, I guess. That's, um, I can't remember the bay over there, but the salt water way up ahead, you probably can see it, I'm not sure. I just wanted to put up a few minutes of driving in this, this area here. And so we got some footage, hopefully I'll remember to add it on from, not yesterday, but the day before. Here's the pond. So the ponds are frozen over, mostly. That looks like it's frozen over. And there's, um, it's just an hour in the morning, you should see lots of birds. And if you don't see birds, then you're not on planet Earth as far as I'm concerned. Uh, we gotta go easy here because we got the trailer in tow. I notice my back windshield wiper, you probably can't see it. But my windshield wash for the back is not working. I filled up the wash two days ago. <coughs> Those little motors are cheap, I think, anyway, right? But I'll take it apart somewhere the weekend, hopefully, and uh, make sure that it's just not a wire or something stupid. 
I guess I'll order in a little pump. I think I've seen them for like 23 bucks or something on Amazon. Okay, we're getting close to a stop sign up here. So no birds. You got a little fresh water. You got some water right there. And we got water here. Which means birds would land and stuff like that, right? And because we had uh, temperatures just back and forth, back and forth. But today is supposed to be sunshine, and tomorrow is supposed to be sunshine. Okay, so we're pretty close to the intersection. I'll turn this off here, and we'll pick back up somewhere along the way here. Okay, some Kim trails early in the morning. And we're looking for a bunch of signs going to come up in another couple of kilometers. And uh, supposed to be doing 100 kilometers an hour, but they got a lot of salt on the road here already. But I still don't want to take a chance of going any faster. And uh, we're just looking for birds right now because we're off to Trans Canada. We got on to Trans Canada, we're off at. I think this is Highway 100, and we're, um, we can't be too far from the turnoff, but at the same time we're looking for birds, the sun's coming up, so we've been traveling for 50 minutes or something right now, I thought that was the turnoff here, but that's not it. But anyway, so far so good this morning for travel boys. I changed my mind twice. It's just because of the weather and gas is now a buck seventy a buck seventy three a liter. Which is absurd. It just went up five cents a liter yesterday. And I didn't realize it. So I've done this before, so I know it's about eight kilometers. It's about eight kilometers off the highway. And we're at six. Thereabouts, kilometers off the highway. And we're looking for birds as we're driving along here, because this is out in, you're way out in the middle of nowhere where I'm to right now. And uh, you can see pond water over here, but it's frozen on the other side of the road. I guess the sun hits that side sooner, I suppose. And somewhere in the next two kilometers or something, we're going to see a bunch of signs. In fact, I'm just going to get out of the way, let this guy go behind me. Because um, she's uh, hanging behind me quite a ways, being polite. And I watch, she's going to slow down? Come on. She probably see me with the camera in my hand, wondering what the hell was going on. What's that fella doing? I'm looking for birds. We're looking for birds. And we're looking for the turnoff. The turnoff will be coming on the right hand side. That's the second boat I've seen this morning. Oh, Pacentia Junction, look at that. Right there. Woohoo! Score. So it's only a couple of kilometers up this road. Everything is frozen. Ooh. Oh, there's a bird up here. What the hell is that? Is that a squirrel or a bird? That's a squirrel? Well, I'll be damned. And there is people that live up right here. 
I just uh, such a remote little spot. But what it does is it intersects with the old train tracks, the abandoned train tracks, which is what we're going to take. So the train tracks will look a lot like what we're looking at right now. We got heavy frost because the sand trucks don't come down here. This is obviously dirt road. And they uh, had a lot of frost here, but looks at this, wow. And we're in Pothole City. It's not very far, it's a couple of kilometers. And so Fukushima has nuclear fallout. As far as we can tell, this is an extinction event. And what we're trying to do is prove that wrong by going out counting the species and so far over the last decade we've seen a um, flat line of species they completely flat line where they disappeared off the face of the planet and so we're just a couple of minutes away from the kickoff point and it looks good because I was worried there might be a lot of snow on this side of the island. And it looks good to me. We're going to go for it for sure. I'm going to shoot everything today with the cell phone because it's freezing and I don't want to use the big camera. Oh, we're here. This is it, baby. This is it. I'm going to turn around already. We're, we're at the junction. It seems to be quicker than I remember, but hey, whatever. I like it. Let's give it a go. That was chaos anyway. Here, running water. All right, let's do it. Let's get this show on the road here. Woo, she's cold, baby. <laughs> she's cold. So, we got two wheels up on the ramps. Hopefully, nobody jacks that. <coughs> We're good to go. We're ready. Alrighty, we're we're four kilometers away from the truck, which is back that way. And there's nobody ahead of us. As you'll see, this stuff will break under my tire, and certainly the one up ahead will. Which means nobody's ahead of us. So you can see my footprint in the uh, tires that time, in the snow. Snow birds in the last four kilometers on this trail. And you can hear the ice breaking. So there's absolutely nobody ahead of me, which is, is good, but let's hope other people get on this trail in case something happens. So we're breaking trail. It's still bitterly cold here, so um, you expect to see some birds, something, especially this hour of the morning, it's really early. noise considering so you expect to see some birds get out of the way right and I'm not seeing no trails and snow wherever there's snow you're looking for a little bit of trail tracks
no birds in the sky. The track is a really rough trail here. They're so frozen, you feel all the bumps, right? Okay, so we're 17 kilometers from the drop-off point. We've never seen a single bird and no tracks in any of the snow that we came across. And it's kind of like uh, snow here, snow there. Anything that's shady, you got lots of snow and ice. Anything the sun is hitting, not so... Um, not so much it seems, but we had big rains right last week. Now this is quite a long ways away from where I live, so we're out in the middle literally of nowhere. We're way off the highway and then we're 17 kilometers uh, off, the, off the drop off point. And it's unbelievable not to see any bird, not even a single bird. It's just, it's just unbelievable. Who would have thought that that was even possible? So I just stop and have a cup of tea and a and take a little break for a few seconds. And uh, so I put this uh, spanner across uh, the break in the window. And that seems to be working. We drilled out the hole right there and another hole up here to stop it from splitting it looks like I should drill a hole right there too I'll wait and see if it splits so that's uh, that's the problem when, when there's no species it's, uh, it's extremely boring but because you got nothing to count, right? But it's frightening that the species are gone thanks to Fukushima. The radioactive fallout is disgusting. Nuclear is disgusting. It's a despicable, despicable creature, industry, and death cult. See, they got heavy chemtrails this morning. We're out in the middle of nowhere. Where the hell he came trailing us for? Scumbags. No chemtrails this way. And so, this is not where I wanted to go today. But it's, uh, I'm, I'm unhappy with it. Because this is this right here where we two is the last spot we camped last year. And, um,. That was really nasty. We camped right here. We set the tent up right there somewhere. <clears throat> and we seen no birds last year on the expedition either. And that was in summertime, right? And 
and uh, we'll get him to go again here, I guess. I'm not going to go much further, another 10 kilometers or something like that. And then turn around and head back. So total should be around 50 kilometers on the quad. And the drive here this morning, we see no birds except when we got into a couple of little towns. And then we've seen a handful of birds, which is what I call the residential birds. And they don't count because they're, they're living off bird feeders. Okay, well, let's do it again. Okay, well, we're 33 kilometers. We're 33 kilometers. Yeah, 33.2 kilometers. And we've gone through half our fuel. I got a gallon back here. Get a gallon back here. And so we got running water here. You expect to see a few birds, a few ducks anyway. And uh we're running into a lot more snow. <coughs> Whew. So no birds whatsoever. And uh, I'm probably only going to go another couple of kilometers. Sounds like we got somebody coming this way. We do so. We got somebody coming this way. How are you? How's it going, bud? Uh, his name was Leon. He stopped and talked to me. He uh, lived not too far from that spot. And he was telling me uh, no rabbits, no birds, uh, no moose. And uh, he has a history, his family's history living in this area. And over the last number of years, they've, everything seemed to just disappear. And it was his day off. He was going looking for some ice fishing. And uh, we chatted up for about 15 minutes. And uh, they're the people that, you know, they live here and... Uh, he was telling me there was, in this little tiny community, there's, um, they buried about 20 people in the last two months, he said, just dropping dead or random brutal cancers and dying. And so let's get off to the next clip. We're 35.8 kilometers and, uh, we got too much snow. We're t I just turned around. I just turned around and uh, we're gonna start heading back because it's really slippery. The ice is really, or the snow is really hard. And there's a lot of drop offs where the road kind of tilts. And I just didn't like the feeling of it. So I'm gonna head back to the truck. Uh, no birds. Zero. And I was just talking to a guy uh, from a community not too far from here, and he was telling me there is there is no birds, no partridge, no ducks, no rabbits whatsoever, no moose. And he said he started disappearing a few years ago, and he said now there's nothing. And um, we'll update you when we can here. Okay, so we're back to the truck. We're back to the truck, and uh, no birds, no animals, and we put uh, 72 kilometers round trip, we busted up, 
everything is thawed out again now because it's a little after one o'clock and so just every pothole is water <laughs> so, and because um, before right everything is frozen so it's kind of smooth but now you're you're diving in every single pothole so it's pretty rough uh, but uh, it was a good trip because uh, 72 kilometers is uh, significant and not to see a single bird it's just heartbreaking it's just heartbreaking the nuclear industry is just revolting it's disgusting Yeah, everything has turned to mud now. I hit the car wash on the way home, I guess. Try to get some of this mud off it. Everything's covered. <laughs> That's okay. I'm covered in mud. Everything else is covered. It works it all out. I'm going to start packing and uh, put, we'll get the, the bike on the trailer and get everything strapped down. Get out of here. I'm going to have a sandwich before it does anything though. <laughs> what a friggin' mess coming back, holy cow. So... So we headed west today. Tomorrow we'll head the other direction. East. I'll just leave everything on the trailer tonight. Yeah, let's get it done. Woo! It's warmed up. It's warmed up quite a bit. Fly off and hit somebody's windshield. Looks good. I saw the rain was incredibly dirty. <laughs> I'm still finding shit poked everywhere. So, 81 miles, and uh, we're back home. We're back home. What a chaos day. Man. I smashed the light off. I, I'll head down and get another one, I guess. Okay, so we got we got a set of lights. We got a set of lights. Uh, Sixty dollars. It doesn't come with the wires because they're too expensive. I already got the wires somewhere. Lord knows where I threw that to. I got, I got the wires here. I bought a little while ago, so we're in good shape. That's so. It's another sixty friggin' dollars. Way to go, Canadian Tire. Way to go, Canadian Tire. <laughs> Too old, baby. I gotta go home and get that on before it gets dark. Good luck on that one. I was so happy when I got home. I was like, score, I can. Yeah, 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 I hear you. Put your seatbelt on, Dana. Okay, crappy tire. <laughs> so we got 
almost a hundred. Well, by the time I get home, a hundred miles on the truck today, which is 160 kilometers. And we just blew another 60 bucks on the lights. <laughs> Fuck me. That's just the way it goes, doesn't it? It's always like that with this racket. It never fucking stops. Thank goodness we had an extra 60 bucks. Not really, I guess, but too late. We got the lights, so can't take a chance without the lights. See? You gotta, you gotta have the lights on the back of the truck, or to give you a ticket, and you got 200 bucks ticket, and then you guys still gotta get the lights. It's a nightmare. But no birds in 72 kilometers on the bike today. No birds on the drive whatsoever, except for in communities. We've seen a few birds. Alrighty. And, um, everything is sealed with uh, liquid. The tape so it's sealed on the inside, but it's wrapped in tape and then it's sealed on the outside with liquid tape. Anyway, uh, it's a long day.